Hello everyone, so in this video, this is uh, part 4 of the series and um, in this video we'll be talking about uh, mutations. Uh, as you can see, uh, we, are, we are here at the GraphQL, the GraphQL Playground, GraphQL DevTools, whatever you call it. And as you can see, we only have one option right now and that is query. Alright, so for queries, we can, um, using query, we can query different, as the name says, we can query different models, different resources, and we can get our desired data. Uh, we will see how we can leverage mutations now, and we can we can complete our CRUD um, in a really easy fashion. So we'll do we'll add another type, and we'll say mutation. And all right, now we will add. Okay, so this is suggesting some stuff and it almost covers everything. Uh, let's see if everything is correct, but in, in the interest of, you know, having an idea what this is supposed to do, let's just write one down. And so what it's going to do is, okay, for creating a user, you don't really need uh, an ID. Um, so we'll be doing name, which is type string. Let's open the user's table actually and see that we don't miss anything or okay so that's going to be a type email now as you know and then there is like uh, so there's name there's email there is email verified at okay and that's going to be of type date a uh, date time and that's going to be <clears throat> obviously that's going to be uh, nullable so we're not going to put a bang in the end and then there is password which is going to be of type string and we don't need the remember token or anything so uh, because that's going to be taken care of automatically so so yeah so this is what we do and now we're going to specify what this is supposed to return and because we have specified the user type above so we're going to return the user and we are going to use the create directive as as uh, as suggested. All right. So okay, and then I think I'll just uh, in the interest of time, I'll I'll let it do it. But then there are certain things that that might we might need to update. So same goes for update user. In case of create user, we were not using the ID, but in case of update user, we need the ID because uh, we need to know which ID we are going to update, all right? So the name is string, email, email verified at, password, okay? And we're going to use the update directive. Uh, for delete user, all we need is the, uh, the ID, and that should be of type ID, and that is required, and it's going to return the user of um, of the type so remember whenever we say user then it's going to reference to this type if we take something out of this uh, as I'll demonstrate later uh, this is not going to give you the timestamps anymore so let's just uh, take them out and see if see what happens all right now uh, speaking of password the password is there and uh, but as you can see we haven't specified it here because we don't want to return the password on any requests uh, you can achieve the same by going to the user model and I believe protected hidden is normally already specified so password and remember token is always going to be hidden so even if you specify it here it's not going to return it uh, <clears throat> uh, in in any uh, instance where we uh, are returning a user so so much for the user uh, let's go to the graphical dev tools and see what changes are there now so just like I said in the in the first video, there's nothing to update. There is no uh, collection to put together. So we already have everything updated. And if you go, if you try to create a mutation, let's get a, get rid of the query for now and add a mutation that will only give you the mutations. If you opt, uh, if you opt for a query, then it will only give you all the queries. So let's try and create a user and with the email and email verified at ID name. All right, now email verified at, we are probably going to skip that in the <coughs> create user as well. 
because that's going to be populated later. So all we need right now is name, email, and password. And let's refresh. All right, so we'll probably have to do the drill again, but yeah, mutation and let's get rid of this one. We can also make changes in that one, so that shouldn't be a problem, but yeah. Okay, so you have email name and password, and as you can see, you're returning email, email verified at ID and name. Uh, if you want, you you can skip the email verified at because you're not because you're not passing it uh, in the request. So let me add my details. I think I made a mistake here, so needed to fix that. And then password, you can you can specify a simple password like let's do password number three. And yeah, let's let's just do a create user, and there it is. So the ID is eleven, and the name is this, and everything else is also given. So we'll just go to table plus. I think I'll need to connect again. We connect we go to users and as you can see on row 11 you see a user user created with these credentials email verified is is null remember token is null because that's already null and as you can see just like in the typical larval fashion the password has also been hashed so um, so that's that and if we want to update this um, of course we need to provide an ID so we need to provide 11 and we say okay we want the email verified ad to be updated actually that's going to be a bit of a tough one because we need to copy an exact timestamp but let's do that actually <clears throat> so we'll just copy this um, we'll say email verified at is this and then name is let's leave the name and everything that's the same so we can actually take out the name and password as well and this should still work. So for ID 11, we want this to be updated and we want the email verified ad to be returned as well. So as you can see, it has updated it in the in this timestamp and, and uh, you can see that the email is now verified and um, the updated user object has been returned. So that's that. And if we want to delete this user, let's not delete this one. Maybe we might want to play with this later. So we can probably delete user number six. Okay, um, so let's do, let's give it an ID of six. All we need is the ID and then everything else is going to be. So, and, and then we can choose what to return of the deleted user. Okay, now that's one thing that you, that you need to, because there are certain things that you'll not understand in the first go. And sometimes I think this is one other area where, you know, GraphQL might uh, PHP Lighthouse might need some improvement and that is like it needs to be very specific as to where the error is happening but that's not that's not the case uh, and it's not suggesting any any improvements but yeah I mean we are in 2024 so we can always find a solution but uh, anyway so what's happening is the delete user does not have the where key directive so we need to have the where key directive here and once we add that that's going to delete it and it's going to return the uh, the deleted user. So if you go back to the database now, you'll see that user number six has been deleted. So I'm sure you'll appreciate that. I mean, on the on the user model, I think we have some stuff specified on the user model, like uh, the fillable is specified, but uh, email verified ad is not there. Um, uh, and even if it was there, I mean, we'll 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 actually try it with the with the speaker and event to see because we didn't add anything like that. So we'll we'll see as to how it goes. Okay, now the, since we've done the first one, we hope that uh, the autofills will be better. But we'll just not we'll not leave anything to chance. So we'll just go to the events model, and <clears throat> we will make sure that we have everything covered so create event so there is name there is city there is date so date is also required and there's venue uh, which is also required and we have online which is a boolean and also required 
So create event. So as soon as you have added create event, if you come back here and if you refresh, because it's PHP, we have to refresh. Remember, um, um, as soon as you come here, let's get rid of this and let's go to mutations and plus, and you'll see that the create event uh, is already there. So you don't really need to do anything just like I said before anyways we'll just move on and we'll say update event and that will give us everything from this and then update and now since we've done it in we've added the where key in uh, the last um, uh, you know specification so it has actually updated it here um, in uh, in the last section so this is also specified it here where key so that actually so sometimes you have to actually, uh, I mean, you don't really solely need to rely. I've seen people work and I've seen people solely rely on um, <clears throat> on these uh, tools, really. Um, I, I think we are a bit far from that. And even if we do, I, I think we should always exercise caution and, and, you know, at least double check if everything is okay uh, before we proceed. So... I've seen PRs where people don't don't people just do what what chat is saying or where what what um, an an autofill tool is saying or um, what GitHub Copilot is saying and uh, then there are issues. So so you need to be sure what's what it is and okay. Photo, Twitter, city, country, event ID. I think that's that's pretty much it. We have we have everything covered here. Okay so create and then the next one that we are going to do is of course it's going to take the queue and it's going to use update and delete it's also going to use the where key so it's very simple so the the, the whole point of letting this um, fill is I know how to write this but the whole point is like it's I mean in I think I've, I've only started this it's just been a few minutes and you were able to complete the CRUD for for all three models and uh, so this this is this is amazingly fast. You didn't have to create any controllers. You didn't have to um, you know specify anything else on the model. You didn't have to do anything, and and it's everything is working out of the box. So I think you'll I'm I'm sure you'll uh, you'll agree that these are very few lines of code in comparison to what you would do elsewhere um, for for some some basic stuff. For advanced stuff as well, you can of course. Uh, gradually we'll get to advanced stuff and we'll write custom resolvers and stuff but yeah i mean for basic crud i think we don't have an easier option anywhere in the php world um i'm sure of that so we'll come back here and we'll do a bit more um we'll try to do a bit more stuff with we'll refresh and make sure that everything is fine and it's not squeaking on anything it's not it's not giving an error or anything. And as you can see, all the mutations are showing here now. Um, so if we go to, let's talk about speakers. So let's create a speaker, all right? Um, photo and Twitter and bio city. So we, we are going to give it everything and we're going to ask for everything back in return. Um, and now there's there's something there is there is some fun here that you you will really like but uh, let's see okay so the name let's fill the name first so that it makes more sense so let's do start on, on. let's actually create an event first shall we uh, because then we can attach it and we'll we'll give the example of Laravel Live so we'll we'll just fill in everything according to that and then we'll go accordingly. Um, Okay, so we'll do cities. The city was Lahore. The date was 2024. I always add this extra 0, 0, 02, 0, 03. And the name was Laravel Live. And online was false. Venue was PC. Okay, so we'll just create this and um, there we go. So we have the ID as 11. So if we go to the events table, you'll see the 11th uh, event already added. And let's get to the fun part. Let's create a speaker for this event. And we, let's see how it goes. 
so yeah we have everything selected create speaker and we have we'll put in everything so i'll just put in my name and then i'll put in okay we'll, we'll leave the photo out for now we'll cover this in a later video uh twitter is sn300 and uh, let's do okay the event id is 11 so we want to attach it to the newly created event and i want to specify my email okay and live pakistan and city was lahore and bio is Um, not only that, but yeah, we'll, we'll just go with the flow for now. Um, okay, so, okay, internal server error generator photo does not have a default value. Okay, now photo is somehow required, which is crazy. So, uh, we'll see, uh, sorry, we'll just go through the schema and, okay, creative and name, city, date, venue, online, and sorry we were supposed to check the speaker so we check the speaker and we say that photo is all right but if we go to the schema you'll probably see that it is okay it's nullable why is it asking me for for that uh, maybe we had yeah so it's just 23 hours ago so maybe we might not have run migrations before so let's just do that and I'll show you something else again that will be of interest so let's see there we go okay now once we come back here now remember we need to make a change all right to uh, because there's no there's no more we don't have the event 11 anymore okay we are back to what where we were before so we can copy this yeah but we can and we, we need to of course create the last event again right so we just go to history and you see that everything is saved so we can do this and create this all over again and we can come back here and we can we can you we can try this again so so this is another cool feature. So there is history. You you'll see history. Everything that you have ever tried, queries, mutations. That's that's going to come here, and that's amazing. So let's try. Let's give it another go. All right. And this time around, it works because the photo was we had done. We had changed the photo to nullable. We had, but we hadn't run the migrations after that. So that that's why it was giving us uh, this error. Uh, the photo is null now. So even if we are not providing the photo, it's still working and in the return we are specifying the photo but it's returning null so yeah if we come back here you will see that we have the event 11 and we also have in the speakers we have a speaker that's me and that's like um it's um it is attached to the event 11. all right but it was good but we wanted we want to do something you know a little more fun so we'll just uh delete this uh the speaker so the speaker id is 31 so we'll delete the 31 okay unless you're returning something remember it's 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 necessary to return at least something unless you return something this is always going to give you an error all right so we deleted and we just want the ID in return just to make sure that this is the one that we have deleted and we refresh this and we see that 31 is no longer there. We'll go back to history and we'll see. Uh, okay, so now what we want to do is we'll come back to this tab and we want to actually return the event. Why Why not we, why don't we return the name of the event and we check which other speakers are there. So um, we might want to return the names of those speakers and we want to check which event which city the the event is and which date it is so so let's just run this so this will not only create the speaker it will attach it to this uh, and attach it to this event but it, this will also return the event in question and other speakers that are speaking at the event 
So this is awesome. You see that the speaker is also being returned and the event uh, object is also being returned and with the with other speakers that are speaking at the event. In this case, it is just this speaker because, because that's the only one that's been added. If it were more, I mean, it would, it would actually show more speakers. So that's create, update and delete for you. And I'm sure you'll appreciate that a CRUD is, you know, really, it's really, you need to put together a lot of classes. You need to put together a lot of stuff uh, together for, um, for, you know, creating something uh, in, uh, in the REST API. But over here in GraphQL, it's fairly simple. And it just gives you a quick, um, it, it, it allows you to do stuff really, really quickly. So um, I think we'll, we'll cover, we might cover rules in a separate video because rules are going to be fairly detailed and we are going to cover a lot of rules. So we can cover, cover some basic stuff here. So for example, for name, we probably want the name to be unique in, um, we, of course we want it to be required and that's specified here as well, but we also want to check on the, uh, we also want to add another layer. Um, so uh, the name is required and we want it to be unique in speakers. Uh, we want it to be unique uh, in speakers and we want to use the name. So we want to use the name column. So in the speakers name column, we want it to be unique. So if we come back to creating the speaker again and um, we try this again. The validation is now going to fail because it says the name has already been taken. So this this is actually quite good. So validations, it is giving you uh, the proper error in the proper format and it, this is actually returning it in the validation object. So you can actually, there's an array of errors and where you can say the name is already taken. All right. So you can no, so we cannot add the same speaker again. All right, and then we go to, we might want to add, you know, okay, min three. So minimum of three characters, maximum of 255. That's, that's something that we might want to add. For email, we might want it to be uh, required. We want the email to be unique and we, we might want the email also to be an email, which is, which is pretty common. Uh, in bio, we might want the minimum to be uh, we might we can set this value to something else, but maybe yeah if we want to set a maximum we could do that uh, Photo will come to later and we'll add it later and then um, Twitter I don't think there's any validation needed here, but yeah, I mean maybe a, a max value so let's do a max of uh, 12 just to make sure that there is like we are not we're not adding any fictitious uh, or not possible uh, usernames. Okay, city. So this is something that we had tried before as well. So when you are creating a speaker, you might want that, uh, uh, you might want that, uh, that it's required. Uh, the city name is required, uh, minimum, maximum. And besides that, you might want to say that we want it to be one of these cities and so London, Paris, New York, because it was uh, most of the events are happening in Pakistan. So we'll add the Pakistan cities. So we'll say Islamabad, Karachi, Lahore. Might want to add some other cities as well. Okay, uh, be careful and don't add a space because it will count that as another space. Okay, now it's giving me, thank you. It's giving me a lot of other cities. So we might want to choose one of these. And there, <laughs> I think that's, that's a bit too many. Um, but anyways, let's take out others. Okay, so it has to be one of these cities, all right? Now, let's try creating another one with, um, let's try creating another one. And let's try creating it with, um, with, with a city name other than what we have just specified, so. So we'll do Lauren Ipsum Delore sit amen and we'll try the city. We'll try the city. And the city is going to be New York. 
which is not one of the cities specified. Uh, and we'll say USA. And okay, let's also, while we're at it, let's also specify the rules for the country. So rules, we want the country to be in Pakistan. So that's, it takes the queue. And uh, so required and minimum is three, maximum is 255. That's normal for any string. And then we have in Pakistan. So the country absolutely has to be Pakistan. If it is any other country, it will give you, it will throw an error. So sada sk at gmail.com. I just put something random. Event ID 11. And we'll say name and we'll say uh, anything really. So uh, the selected city is invalid, the selected country is invalid, so it gives you both the errors. So the city needs to be one of these cities while you are while you are adding uh, while you are creating a while you are adding a speaker. So the speaker needs to be from one of the Pakistani cities, and let's let's add let's add a different city and let's say okay, let's not change the country, and it'll still say the selected country is invalid. So we'll do Pakistan. So as you can see, now it should work and it returns the speaker ID because that's what we had requested. If we request more stuff, that's that's going to give us more stuff. But if we try it now, this will give us uh, quite a few errors. So the name has already been taken. The email has already been taken. So we can do 11 and we can do name. Let's do Sohail. And if we try that, that should work. So. So I think it's it's pretty much clear. The rules are an amazing thing. You don't have to actually specify again because there's no controller. You don't really need to specify anything. You just need to add that these are the <clears throat> uh, these are the rules that I want the data to have, and and it will follow them. Uh, it will follow it. So it's it's really really simple adding rules. You don't really have to add. Uh, you know a lot of a lot of code to just uh, just apply some basic rules so I think that's pretty much it uh, again we can uh, for the rules ID we want to we want we can use the exists so exists is something also which is which is growingly common now so that uh, so it makes sure that the uh, that the ID actually exists in the uh, in the events on the events table in the ID column so if we try something like if we try something different, um, just trying to uh, um, <clears throat> so just just another name, and it will give you an error. So okay, hmm, syntax error, unterminated string near. Okay, so maybe it didn't like us taking things to another to a line of their own uh, I think we didn't add any space did we let's try it again okay so why is the ball attack there might be a space somewhere and in and it closes here looks good to me But yeah, let's just get rid of all of this and try that. Okay, that uh, list is filled again. We'll just we can do with a smaller subset as well, um, just so that I don't spend an entire day debugging this. So the selected city is invalid now. We're providing Multan, but that's that's not there. So just to make sure that it works, we are going to add Multan in in the list. Yeah, Peshawar Quetta. Okay, let's let it be. And there it goes. So it's it it has added the thirty fifth speaker, and it has made sure that the city is one of the cities specified, and the country is one of the countries specified. And now, if we want to return the the speakers at the event, the other speakers at the event. We can actually do that and we can say okay date and name and also give me the other speakers so that would actually explain the other 
uh, <coughs> uh, the double nesting stuff uh, and so the name uh, <coughs> okay there it goes so as you can see now it is the name is Imran and it's live and live and these are the names of the other speakers so as you can see this speaker is also included in the list so that means everything is working as expected so um, I think I I took a lot of time explaining this but I just wanted to make sure that this is drilled down properly uh, that you can add validations on the fly just like this with a fairly with just a few lines of code uh, with, by just adding a few few strings in the end you can actually you can actually do that and in the next video we'll we'll cover a few more validation rules we'll add it to a few other parts of the schema and we'll also cover guard the guard directive so if the guard directive so so this is something that we'll cover and uh, uh, please um, uh, make sure that you follow along and uh, you um, uh, the, the best way to learn is to you know kind of really follow along and uh, and kind of code along so that you can you can actually see how um, uh, you can actually see the real value of this and you can actually start building applications of your own in the, uh, using the GraphQL API as <clears throat> as soon as you are as soon as you're ready um, uh, as soon as you are done with this series so that's that's the best way of doing it and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do because that's the uh, because I can I can really use some support I've, I've started um, <clears throat> I've started um, adding more and more videos and I'm trying to share more and more so your subscriptions will really help this they'll encourage me and please do feel free to ask any questions in the comments I'll be happy to answer them thank you